Now in this video, we'll be looking into NECO 2025 Biologic Practical Prep and the specimen we have for this Biologic Practical is specimen A to O. So I made a video of the first category, second category, and this video is the third category. So if you need the first category and second category video, comment in the comment section and I will send you the link. Now for the third category now, we have the specimen, I categorized it into specimen H, I and L. So specimen H is Humerus, that's a bone, and I is famous, also a bone. And then L is a land snail. So majority of students identify the type of bones we have. That is humerus, femur, and then we have land snail. So now let's go into possible things they can ask you in this third category um, specimen, which is H, I, and L. So the number one question, let me name, let me name that 3A. Is that they can ask you to identify specimen H and I. It's already here. You know that specimen H is specimen H is H is humerus. Then um, for I, I is a femur. So that's the first thing they can actually ask you. So another thing they can ask you, let me name it two, three B. They can ask you to state the type of bones they are. Now which bones? This H and the I. That's the humerus and the femur. So the type of bone they have, they are just long bone. They are long bone. Okay, bones because it contains H and I. So another thing they can ask is that they can ask you to list the two function of specimen H. So let me name that three C. The two function name two functions of um, specimen H. That means what are the functions of the humerus? So the first one is support. One so it supports support of four limbs. And also another thing is that it's a muscle attachment for movements. Muscle attachment. For movement. Okay. Now another thing they can still ask. Let me give that three D. Is that they can ask? They can ask us or ask us to classify specimen L. So what can you classify specimen L as? So it is a gastropoda. Gastropoda. This is G E S T R O P O D. A. So another thing they can ask, let me name this 3E, is that they can ask you to list two observable features of specimen L, that's the land snail. So what are the observable features of specimen L? So is that number one, that's a coiled shell, coiled shell, and also it has a um, slimy muscular foot, so slimy muscular foot that's the land snail okay now what again can they ask you from this particular category of specimen h i and then l is that for three let me name that three f so for this three they can ask to um well to state two adaptive features of that same specimen l so state two adaptive features of specimen l that is the land land snail so one is that it has shell for protection. Yeah, we all know that snail has shell for protection. So another one is that it has a um, it has a slime slime for movement and for moisture retention. So it has slime for movement, and this same slime is also used for moisture retention because it is a land snail. Okay, so again, they can ask you, let me name this 3G. They can ask you to make a well labeled diagram in um, 8 to 10 centimeter, 8 to 10 centimeter long. So, of this same specimen L. So, meaning that you need to know the diagram of this um, specimen L, that's the land snail. So, observe the diagram, know how to draw it and label it properly. So, that's what I have for you. Now I'm looking at this humerus, this bone and this femur. I think at O level knowledge they may not ask you to draw anything related to this humerus and this femur. So but take note of this diagram in this land snail. So these are the possible questions I have for you concerning this Neco 25 biology practical. So do well to share this video, give us a like to and a nice comment. Just add all these things to whatever you are reading and it's going to open your exam. I wish you best of luck in your exam. Bye.